In this video, we are going to talk about integer exponents as a prerequisite for algebra. Let's start with defining exponents. Some books or your teachers may call an exponent index or power from time to time, but they all mean the same. You can think of exponents as a shorthand way of expressing how many times you have to multiply a base by itself. The base can be as simple as a single digit number. For example, 5 raised to the fourth power is equal to 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 or 625. The base can also be as complicated as an algebraic expression. For example, x plus y to the fourth power is equal to x plus y times x plus y times x plus y times x plus y. <sighs> Doing the nitty gritty of expanding it will result to x to the fourth power plus 4x cubed y plus 6x squared y squared plus 4xy cubed plus y to the fourth power. We will be spending a lot of time solving a problem, but we always have to expand the mathematical expression. So knowing how to use exponents is a powerful, time-saving, and friendly way to solve math problems. The properties of exponents might seem a lot at first glance, but really, they can be broken down into just three simple ideas. First, the exponent says how many times you have to multiply a number by itself. Second, the opposite of multiplication is division, which is why a negative exponent says how many times you have to divide one by the base number. Third, a fractional exponent like 1 over m means to take the nth root of a number. For example, 4 raised to the 1 power is equal to the cube root of 4. This will be tackled more in a different video. Now that you've been briefed, it'll be much faster and easier for you to understand the properties of exponents in detail. Let's start with the first three properties of exponents. Any number raised to zero power is equal to one. It doesn't matter if the base is very small or if it is a million. Raising it to the zeroth power will still result in one. Raising the base number to the first power is just like multiplying one with a number. Raising the base number to the negative first power is just like dividing 1 with a number. In fact, you'll realize that these three properties are just part of the natural sequence of exponents. Take a look at our example of the powers of 4. As you move up, each number is 4 times larger than the previous one. And as you move down, each number is four times smaller. The fourth property. A negative exponent means that you'll have to do division. Given k to the negative n, how many times do you have to divide one by k? The answer is n times. Here is an example. k to the negative four is equal to 1 divided by kkkk k, 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 or 1 over k to the fourth. The fifth property. So, given k to the m times k to the n, how many times do you have to multiply k by itself? First, multiply m times. Then, by another n times. This will give you a grand total of n plus n times. Here is an example. k to the 4 times k to the 5 
is equal to multiplying k 9 times or k to the 9th power. Using the fifth property, you can write it as k raised to the power of 4 plus 5 or k to the 9th power. Much simpler, right? The sixth property. Similar to the last example, how many times do you have to multiply k by itself? First, multiply m times. Then, decrease by n times because you're doing division. This will give you a grand total of m minus n times. Here is an example. k to the 5 divided by k to the 3 is equal to multiplying k 5 times and dividing it by k 3 times or k squared. Using the 6 property, you can write it as k raised to the power of 5 minus 3 or k squared. This property can also show you why k to the 0th power is equal to 1. For example, solve k cube over k cube using the expansion method on the left and the 6th property on the right. The 7th property. How many times do you have to multiply k by itself? First, multiply m times. Then, you have to multiply the resulting number by n times. This will give you a grand total of m times n times. Here is an example. k to the 5 raised to the power of 3 is equal to kkkkk k, 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 multiplied 3 times, which result in k multiplied to itself 15 times, or k to the 15th power. Using the seventh property, you can write it as k raised to the power of 5 times 3 or k to the 15th power. The eighth property. This property is best shown by rearranging the j's and k's. Here is an example. Expand the expression. Group the j's together and group the k's together. Use a base and an exponent for the group of j's and do the same for the group of k's. The ninth property. Similar to the last example, this property is best shown by rearranging the j's and k's. Here is an example. Expand the expression. Group the j's together and group the k's together. Use a base and an exponent for the group of j's, and do the same for the group of k's. We recognize that the best way to fully understand these concepts is by answering exercises. So be sure to check out our Solve Along video about integer exponents. If you enjoyed watching this video, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button.